Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition where we're super excited to be unboxing another shiny game. And as you can see from the cover, this is the expansion to Everdell and it's called Pearl Brook and it comes from Sterling Games. And I'd like to thank them for this review copy. It was very kind of them um, and look how pretty it is. Um, so for those of you unfamiliar um, with Everdell, um, I've done an unboxing and possibly a review of it at this point. And it's a separate game and you'll need it to play this one. Um, because you know this is an expansion for it, so it's gonna add additional things to the base game. So if you're not familiar with it, you probably should go and check it out first, or this might be incredibly boring for you. Um, but if it isn't, come and glory in what is this beautiful, beautiful artwork. Um, gosh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Um, and this lovely, lovely box. I like that they've raised certain parts of it, so it's really like tactile. Um, and I think it really makes it stand out too, because if you can guys kind of see those little things that here that are kind of shinier than others, and it really makes it very kind of three-dimensional almost. Um, so from the look of this expansion, it looks like we're gonna have some underwater elements perhaps. Um, I don't I don't really know. Um, so let's see what's actually on the back, of the, uh, the back of the box, because I've come to learn that Sterling Games don't put anything on the side of their box to tell you how many players and things it's for. But I assume it's gonna be um, familiar, to, or familiar, similar to Everdell. So it's a game for one to four players, 60 to 90 minutes, ages 14 plus. And look, we've got like adorable animals in boats. So from the back of this, look, we're gonna be adding on an extra part to the original game. This, the original circle is here and we get all these pieces, new parts, all sorts of stuff. So deep below the shimmering surface of the Pearl Book River, should have figured out when it had Pearl in the title it was to do with underwater. But um, you'll have to forgive me. I'm a little under the weather today, hence why I probably sound rather mannish. But you may put up with it because I was too excited not to unbox these so I could play with them. So there's illustrated cards, glass pearls, all sorts of stuff. Um, and if the base game has taught me anything, it's that the components in this will be all kinds of special. So in we go. Do, 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 do. Ooh, we'll put it this size. Now, so first things first. Collector's Edition Rules of Play, we do like that. I love that they don't call them rule books. It's a beautiful colour, it's not just fab. And look, the inside of the lid is this watery colour as well. That's really like attention to detail kind of stuff. So, this is a very small rule book, but expansions normally are. So a little bit of an overview, what you get in them. New workers, woo, and they name them. You get Azlotl, Otters, Starlings, and Platypi. Very cool, we get river boards, all sorts of fun stuff. So then how to set it up. Very cool, the, the deal about the river. Um, it's nice to out, nice big font, easy to read. Rule book, waxy stuff, but it's a good size. Um, we have adornments, ooh, and wonders, and pearls, and there are solar rules for this too, which is really, really cool. And anything on the back of it? Um, not really, um, there's an, a bit of an index, which is helpful, um, and then some credits. Okay, so what else we get? So we get a brochure for starting games. You can peruse that in your own time. And then, oh, there are wonders we have to assemble. So, a way, so like the original game has the giant tree. Now it looks like we're getting wonders that we're going to be building. Cool, I, I like that there are instructions. I suck at assembling things. One page. All right, now, anyone else having a flashback? to flashbacks with the open signs. Woo, okay, so obviously they've got 3D, they slot into each other. It looks like a lighthouse. These are really nice. Um, I'll pop out a piece of the card to see, see what they're like. Double-sided, so we'll put it out a coin. Yeah, really, really solid card. It would kind of need to be if you were going to build these 3D things. It would be really disappointing if they were flimsy. These are really cool. Um, I think they'll look much better assembled. It's hard to tell how nice they're going to be just from this. We have only one page popping out. Good. Now, we're into the half disc. So here's the extra bit. So you guys can see. I thought it would be bluer. It's rather grey. But to be fair, this game does play with a rather muted palette. And it's very kind of autumn-y. Um, so I think, I suppose it'll suit nicely with that. So there's spots obviously you're going to go to. Um, I love the art on it. There is the shoal, so yeah, and you can imagine it going around nicely around the side of your board. Anything on the back? Nope. And it folds very neat as well. Okay. I'm with you. Okay, so whoa, this is some insert. So this one and this insert, don't know if you can see, but it's all um, grooved out. 
to keep all the wonders you've assembled together. Hurrah! Because that was one of my concerns about the, the original game was, did you have to assemble the tree every time? Because I've still, I've not played Everdell yet, um, because it and the expansion arrived today. Um, so I'm kind of, I'm very oblivious. You probably know more about the game than I do at this point, and I'm opening the expansion, but there you go. Um, so we've got little places to put on it. So Hopwitch Gate, Starfall's Harm. And they're single-sided. That's a shame, actually, when you flip them over like that to see the white. These are very thin cardboard. Like, super thin. Um, which is also kind of surprising. Okay, so now we'll go for the cards, because they're coming next. Ooh, there's cards inside cards inside cards. Um, do, 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 do. I know you have one of these things. There we go. So, these are linen finished cards. Which are really nice. Uh, more things you can do to increase your hand size bone for every pearl you have. Some really beautiful art again. So these are all related to kind of the, the new items and stuff you can get. Um, and I suppose there are more things you can do with the original game, Draw One Game One. Aren't they just gorgeous? Is that really a fairy ferret? Oh my god. A fairy ferret. I love it. So yeah, so there isn't the, um, a ton of cards in here. There's a good few. Some of these go sideways. It's a citizen. He's a snail. So cute. Uh, cool. You don't always need a lot of stuff in expansion though for it to really change a game. So there's all sorts of locations. Very nice. Righto. Okay, the next lot of cards. We have some teeny teeny cards. Come these nice little envelopes. So what have we got this time? So these are kind of gold cards before. What have we got now? So you may copy an ability from an adornment played by an opponent, all right. Scales, these are linen finished, they're nice, they're beautiful little pictures, aren't they? A sea glass, amulet, okay, draw two, okay, so they're like, yeah, they can pay for them with pearls, that's nice. And then when you achieve this, so these are kind of the little gold things that I remember, these are kind of special bonuses. Oh, they do have different backs, so you can see it. Pearly backs versus foresty backs. Cool, so more, so yeah, lots of variety added here. More lovely things. So more locations. Excellent, I'll be very curious to see how any of this affects the, the base game. Um, it just seems like, like more goodness and a little more variation. And you know what, that is never a negative thing. Please go into the plastic, there we go. And then one, one more in the tiny card section. So what are these? These have wooden, or like the wood backs. I have to say, I like the idea of expanding the world of the forest out into the water. I think that's a really um, cool um, thematic choice. So your compass, you are activate two, so the inner city. So these are like pearl only cards, all of these ones. So this must be more of these kind of mirror ones that you pay for with pearls. Same, gill of beads, hourglass. These are all items, I quite like them. Very pretty, God, the cards are lovely, look at that. It's so pretty. And then there was one more of these. An evening of fireworks. Okay. Good, good, good. And then... Then we're on to the wooden token bits. Hurrah! <laughs> when unboxing games, the card bits is the boring bits. Because I can't really show you all the cool cards. The best I can tell you is, you know, here's what they look like. Here's what they kind of do. Here's what they feel like. But this is the stuff I think people really want to know. Look at these. Okay. To the meeples, or whatever you call animal meeples. Okay, right, so there's one of each colour only in this bag. And plenty of silica. Alright, let's try and lay them all out in my hand because they're huge. They all look like frogs. It looks like you have a frog for each colour. Agreed? Frogs? Ribbit? They're very cool actually. I love the colour choices in this again. So good. These would look so gaudy in primary colours, but just having these separate ones. So it looks like we might get one for each player, but this game said it was up to five, right? How many colours do we have? One, two, three, four. Hmm. Maybe it's, an, it's nothing to do with what I thought it might be to do with. So we have more cool meeples. Are these all different types? They are. So these are the ones I, I read about earlier. What colour am I missing? I have a sterling, a thing, a platypus. A platter pie, and the last one then is the running three. I thought there was gonna be four. See you with me. I have navy, pink, and purple. Yeah, no, that's one of each. So these are very cute. 
And yet again, beautiful, beautifully made wooden components. Da -da 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 -da. And they're good. They're very big as well. I think these will like be impressive on the board. These are not tiny. They are large. Oh, and we've got more wooden tokens. Got two more lots. Exciting stuff. Are you guys all the same thing? Is it just <laughs> is it just me or do all these maples look vaguely like dinosaurs? Maybe, yeah. So we got one of these. Ooh, we got a bag full of these. And by a bag full I mean like six. <laughs> And then we've got one more batch. Oh, the pearls look really, really pretty. I'm assuming you guys can see them here. Look at this. So, I'm being patient. I'll get to the shiny thing at the end. So, these are more frogs, but in different colours. I wonder what's the deal with the frogs. I'll show you two of them anyway, so you can see them. These are just like the other ones, right? Frogs. They're very cool. They're huge. Yeah, they are just like the others. They're just in different colours. Curious. I hate that the game's gonna make me have to play it to find out what all its pieces do. How unfair. And then finally, well not quite finally. Oh, these are nice. So you can see we, there are actual pearls. Together. They actually feel like actual pearls. Not that I would know or anything, but I do have a pearl necklace or two in my time. Um, and they have our flat bottoms so they don't roll away. Very convenient, they're not actually fully rounded. They are stunning, they're gonna look beautiful out in the board. And they're nice and weighty too, but they've got the nice, the, the clink of a pearl. They, they would they feel quite legit. I would be happy to find those in a fake pearl necklace. All right, so the very last thing is we have a scoreboard, so this is different. So what's in this one? So it's um, Terry Harris score pad. This competition of Everdell was scored on this. So all critters signed below. And you fill in all your points and wonders. So I assume it's they, they thought that by adding in all this extra stuff would make it more difficult for you to determine who the victor was. Um, so they've helped. Um, there's a good number of them in the pads. And the paper's really nice. Yeah, it's just like it's nice and thick paper. It's nice stuff. So that appears to be everything that was in the Everdell um, Pearlbrook expansion. Not a lot of stuff in the current expansion. It's definitely very elaborate, right? There's a lot of bits and bobs. This is just cool. This is brilliant. So when you do assemble everything together, it'll stay there for you so you don't have to assemble it each time and wear down your cardboard, which is smart. I think it's really smart. Will that fit first? There we go. And it's like the tiny little expansion board. Isn't that interesting how it folds? It's not an exact folding. So yeah, whoops. Oh yeah, my one coin I popped out. Excellent. So what do you guys think about this? Has it encouraged you to try Everdell perhaps or maybe pick up the expansion? This looks very, very interesting. Um, I'll be delighted to try it out and see um, what kind of changes or what kind of additions it brings to the game. So you've been watching Board Game Inquisition and we've just unboxed Everdell Pearlbrook. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not think about liking or subscribing to the channel so you can get updates about like the rest of my videos so you'll know when they happen. Um, and until next time, hopefully you'll join me again for another very exciting unboxing. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.